Hello again and welcome and in today's short video I should be demonstrating um, precision centre punching um, as I was taught at Phillips back in the uh, 60s uh, as, as, a, as a tool maker and an instrument maker so uh, join me round at the bench and we will uh, begin see you there soon bye so uh, what you're seeing here is a uh, typical marking setup um, you know the, the, the usual uh, scribing block and and obviously your uh, your part ready to go now you often see on on um, on YouTube you know these people they they splash all this red or blue marking uh, dye over over their part and 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 and, and they and they and they mark a line but 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 it's it's, it's barely um, it, it all it does is just scratch scratch through the uh, the marking stuff really for what I intend to show you you've actually got to physically um, dig into the material and, and, and give a nice crisp line that you can you can actually feel with your with your finger now now what I was taught back in in the 60s to say for, for steel was was that you polish the steel up with a bit of uh, uh, emery and then and then you you, you put a drop of of um, copper sulfate on, and uh, that immediately turned the surface to to, to a lovely bright um, copper finish. In which case, the, you know that the lines really really stood out, and of course it was coolant proof, and it and it wouldn't chip off. Um, you know, as 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 you were working on any swarf, you know, like this this modern stuff. Um, you know, you, you you often see it on there that you know somebody's starting to machine something, and for you know long for you know very long. Um, you know the the, the 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 stuff has come off. So uh, the principle involved here is is really you want you want a, a really really sharp uh, point on your scribing block, or preferably um, a height gauge with a nice sharp beak. So so the the idea is is that you end up. Um, I don't know if we can we can we can make that out in the light. Yeah yeah. See so there's, so there's a couple of very crisp lines here, and in fact you can I can actually feel that with my finger now. So um, what I should do now is to uh, show you the uh, the way that we that we uh, accurately um, centre punch this. I'll be back in a moment. Now the secret of this uh, accurate centre punching mark is is using what I know as a prick punch. Um, it's it's a it's a standard uh, centre punch, but it's got a very very sharp point on it. I mean so sharp that you prick your finger and draw blood with it, and you can also use uh, an automatic uh, center punch as well. Um, first off, you, you want you want to you want to set it on the lowest setting possible for this. Now the the uh, the, the principle is because we've got this um, nice sharp line. And as I say, don't if if you can avoid it ever just center punch um, direct on the on your wooden bench because you'll 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 get bounced. You actually need a nice solid piece of uh, steel underneath it. So so what you actually need to do is is with this is you can you can actually feel um, it, you're you're better off sitting down by the way. Um, you know, but obviously I'm I'm standing up here now. The, the now the the, the 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 principle is is that you um, yeah. I'll, I'll, does that make any difference? Is that better? So we've got, got 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 the line on it, haven't we? Really. Um, now the idea is 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 is, is you is you carefully um, place the the either the automatic or, or the manual one um, actually into the groove at a at a at a slight angle, and you and you you can, you can feel the groove, and then you slide it down until you feel it click. I missed it there. Let's uh, let's have another feel. Yeah, did, did you hear that little click? That that is now on the on the um, actually right on the on the cross mark now. So keeping it as as vertical as you can, and don't go bashing it like mad with it. Very very the, the, for the first tap, very very gentle. I mean, if you haven't if you haven't got a a, 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 very, a small hammer, this is only sort of four ounce hammer. I mean, get 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 yourself just a, a a small block, and all you may need to do is just a very very just a little tiny. That could well be enough. Um, in, 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 in case it's uh, in case it's moved, it, it, it shouldn't done. Now the other thing I strongly advise. I mean, even if you're 20 and you reckon you've got good eyesight, um, Jeweler's eyeglass. Um, I've looked at that, and that uh, 
that looks good so what we'll actually do now is to pick it up again being very careful did you hear that click in there again and now give it a stronger whack check again yes that is that's very good and now have a final a good pick it up again sorry I'm, I'm right handed here we pick that up there and give it a nice good thump this time right and a final final check and that is, abs that is absolutely perfect. Now, if you've got others to do in the adjacent area, um, go ahead and do all those. But if this happens to be the last one, um, what I'm now going to uh, uh, say is that uh, I'll, I'll show you on this uh, on this demonstration of a piece of paper for those for those that don't don't realise it. Um, where are we? It's there. Um, a standard um, centre punch when when. The, the principle is, is is when you when you drive the drive the center punch into the material the, the what goes in has got to come out so of course it throws a little lump on either side now if you happen to be uh, if you're perpendicular you've got an equal rim around there which is fine um, but should you actually bang it at an angle um, you'll find that you've got a thicker lump on one side than the other and then when you actually come to uh, place the drill of course it's going to hit on this lump first and move over sideways so the best thing we can actually do with this is to get yourself a uh, super smooth file or or a, or a, or, a, or a piece of uh, wet and dry on a, on a parallel or something and actually just rub over the top just to remove that little burr that's just been thrown up so we're now actually back down to um, uh, prime material so there's no lump at all in there so once you then go ahead with a um, with a centre drill or a spotting drill um, away you go you'll, you, you, you'll, you'll have no problems at all uh, doing it like that now what I'll now um, demonstrate is is um, should on, on the on the other end um, is what you should do um, if the centre punch mark has, has, has wandered off so we'll do the same again I'll pick that uh, pick that up no no it's you know you know it's actually it's actually clicked in but when what I'm going to do is imagine that, that that it's off and you pick it up there and you say oh dear it's off yes it it, it it's off quite a bit so what you need to do now is to, is to gently um, try and tease it over um, by holding the center punch at an angle and careful little tap and check again and check again now it needs a little bit more yet hold that at an angle you've got to, got to pick that up a little bit difficult trying to work around the camera and when you're happy that it's uh, now back on centre what you need to do is is to hit it a little bit harder and, and gradually straighten the the centre punch up and check again that, she, that she's still on that she's still okay and give it another final whack and definitely this time you need you need to um, file this lump off because because I've been driving it at an angle the the um, the raised bit is thicker on this side than the other and, and the drill will wander off so of course what we just need to do is say is just just to just to um, rub that blur over until it's down to a nice smooth surface uh, and away you go so um, yeah I hope that uh, that'll that'll help but as I say you, you see so many people that they'll, they'll just they'll just scribe a line pick the center punch up and go whack and, and you know and I'll bet nine times out of ten that it's not actually on on the mark that you intended to so if you really want um, you know a precision uh, position. I mean, it's not so bad these days. But, you know, you, you you can you can you can you know if the if the part's small enough, you can pop it up in a mill and and uh, and use a DRO. But say so back in back in the sixties, DROs weren't even invented then. So um, you know, we were taught this is how to do it manually. So um, I hope that helps. Um, I think we will con conclude and uh, catch you again in a moment. So there we are. I hope you. Um, 
understood what I was uh, attempting to do there. As I say, it, it's a um, nice crisp line um, that you can feel with your fingernail, nice sharp center punch, slide it down and you'll actually, you, you, you'll actually physically feel it and, and if you've got good hearing, you'll actually hear it click when the um, center punch um, drops into your cross position. As I say, I'm carefully tap lightly and check and tap a bit more. As I say, it's, uh, you know, it's a bit like the old um, thing of um, uh, measure twice and cut once. So, you know, before you give it a good whirl with a, with a hammer, make sure that, uh, you know, you do it gentle and you've got a chance to move it. Um, so I hope that uh, that helps you. So um, once again, thanks again for watching. Uh, please subscribe, uh, ring the bell, click the likes and send me a comment, uh, again, good or bad. Um, so uh, wherever you are in the world, until we meet again, stay safe, well and happy and catch you again on the next one. Bye.